So I'm going to teach you how to use that Google, I mean, yeah, Google Chrome extension we just added, the Bitmoji one, to create your classroom um, background and put your Bitmoji in there. So here's kind of a cute classroom that's already set up, but if you don't find a pre-made one and you want to create your own, then just make a new slide and start searching for all the different things you want in there. So you can actually like um, make links later if you want or make these buttons so that you can click on stuff and it'll take you to things. But if you're just trying to make a cute background, make a blank slide and go to Google and search for whatever you want. Um, you always want to start with your background, whatever you want your wall to be, and then whatever you want your floor to be. So obviously if you just put a wall, when you sit stuff there, it's going to look weird. So you need a wall and you need a floor. So I went to Google search and I just searched for a brick wall and then I found one I liked. So here it is. And I'm going to copy and paste that. Copy image. And when you paste it, you're going to want to crop it, or at first you're going to want to resize it. So when you resize, always use the corners so that it keeps it in the right proportions. If you stretch it this way and this way, it's going to change the size of these bricks. So if you want it to stay looking the same, you want to use the corners to drag it. Now you can see I had to drag past my slide when I did that to get it covered. So move it over where you can see where the slide starts and stops and hit crop and then drag the edges so that they line up with your slide. And then move it over to where it lines up. Alright, so now I've got a brick wall. Now I need some kind of floor. So let's see. Um, I don't know what kind of floor I want. Tile. I'm just going to search wood flooring or wood floor background. Okay. So you can see that these are kind of from the angle you'd want it to be where it actually looks like you're on the floor. And one thing to always do, you can see I clicked on tools and I this says color if you haven't picked one yet and you want to change it to transparent because that gives you ones that don't have a background. So it's not going to have like white space around it that you have to get rid of. So I think this is cute for a floor. I think this one's also cute. Um, right click on it and click open image in new tab because that's going to give you the full size image not just this small one. So here it is and you can see there's no wallpaper or I mean a uh, background around it like there was on this side. See there was that checkered. The checks usually mean it's transparent. Now you can just see the black. So I'm going to copy that. Copy image. You get there by right clicking. <clears throat> and I'm going to put it on top of my brick wall and actually I don't know that I love this because it makes the floor look like the planks are enormous so let me try something different <clears throat> sometimes it's just playing around and seeing what size right hmm. maybe we'll go with this one it doesn't look quite as realistic as why I wasn't crazy about it at first but in the interest of time, let's see what that one looks like. Let's do this one. All right, so I'm doing the same thing. Open image in new tab. Oh, that's tiny. We'll see if it'll work. Copy image. Usually bigger ones work better. And you can search um, by size as well. Oh, it gave me the background too. Well, this one will be a good example to show you how to get rid of a background. So if you copy and paste something and it has a background, this is the one time I'm going to tell you to use PowerPoint because Google Chrome uh, or Google Slides, I don't think it does this. Copy and paste it into a blank slide on PowerPoint and click on the image. Click Format, 
remove background and then mark you can mark either what you want to keep or what you want to get rid of so I'm gonna mark what I want to keep where did my picture go and it doesn't have to be perfect it just really wants you to outline somehow what you want it to keep I don't know why it keeps doing that. Let's see here. You can just keep adding until you get all the area that you need. Maybe it's just because it's so close to the edge. Okay, so once you get that, then take it away from PowerPoint and take it back over to slides, just copying and pasting it. Alright, so now I'm going to resize it and make it big. Sometimes when you make things this much larger, it gets really pixelated, meaning it looks blurry, which is kind of the case with this floor. But I'm also going to stick a bunch of stuff on top of this classroom floor, so I'm not super worried about it. But you could keep playing around and finding ones until you found the size you needed. I cropped out those extra little edges. I'm going to stretch it just a little more and reline it up on my slide. Alright, so here's what I got so far. And then you just keep finding other stuff you want. If you want a whiteboard, go search for a whiteboard and copy and paste it onto your page and then resize it to make it whatever size you like. If you want a bulletin board, copy and paste your one in there. And when you get everything the way you want it to look, and you're ready to stick your bitmoji in there. I'm going to stick mine in this one because it's already finished. Alright, so you go up to your extensions and you click bitmoji. If you don't see the bitmoji extension, click on this puzzle piece and make sure that this pen is blue. If not, click it. And remember in the previous video I showed you how to add this extension. So if you haven't watched that, you might want to. So click on it. And it's going to open your Bitmoji. And you can search for whatever you want there. Um, so I need something school related or just me maybe. Uh, let's see. We'll do this one where I'm standing here holding a book. So it says right click and choose copy image. And you're going to bring it over here. And you're going to paste that image. And now I'm in my classroom holding the book. I'm also going to crop this image to where it's right as close to my Bitmoji as possible. And then I'm going to shrink myself down a tad. Well, maybe that was closer to being right. And I'm going to put myself in front of the chair because I might sit down to read. And when I click off of it, there it is. Voila!